belts or uh, right under them. Um, the best, you know, the best guy in my division for everybody, and that's that's the way that I'm. I'm trying, like I, I, like I said before, I'm always trying to fight the best fighters. I want, I want to fight the best, you know. The best guy in my division, that's the, everybody put the belts or uh, right under them. Um, how would you fight a fighter like Terrence Crawford, a guy that switches can fight inside and outside? Me or somebody else? How would you fight him? Me? Uh, whatever he think he can do, I'd be better. So, he a great fighter, Crawford a great fighter, but it's just different over here. Uh, fast, strong, uh, young, smarter, defense is way better. Uh, he a great fighter though, won't take nothing away from him. But he's got to, for him, you got to be, you got to outthink him. And then outpointing, outsmarting, walk to him a little bit, touching, keep touching, and touch that body. First of all, before I carry on with this video, uh, shout out to um, YSM Sports Media, man. Sports Media, I see them a lot. So, shout out to him um, for doing the groundwork, getting his Jerron interviews and a whole bunch of other interviews that they always get. So, shout out to them, especially for me using this clip anyway. Other than that, man, y'all hit that like button. Smash that like button and, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already. Now, look, man, I ain't get to speak on this yet. This shit came out like a week ago, but I ain't get to speak out on it. So, we're going to talk about it. Uh, Jerron Ennis, you heard it out of his own mouth. Anything Crawford can do, he feel like he can do better. It's different over here. He say it's, di it's different. You know what I'm saying? Touch him to the body a little bit while touring, you know. Touch him up, you know. Outsmart him, beat up on him and shit like that. You know, that's what he said. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with it. But listen, though. I'm a, I'm a, I, I, I still want to say some other shit. I fuck with it. I fuck with Jerron Ennis, man. One thing I want... I don't want uh, Jerron, not saying he do or not, but one thing I don't want him to do is, like, miss or screw things. Like, you know, it's other guys. See, he in a very, very popular division, right? It's a whole bunch of other guys in the division who people like and love and shit like that and fuck with super hard. And we've been watching these other guys for a long time, and he kind of, like, new, bouncing up on the scene. So it's going to take some convincing for niggas to really, 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 you know what I'm saying, really jump on that. Like, yeah, he'll do that to Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to take some real, like, you know, it's going to take some work. It's going to take him beating up on some more niggas and, and us watching the shit, beating up on some names, beat up on Jose Lopez, beat up on motherfucking uh, whoever the fuck else it is, whoop on their ass, and then... Niggas is going to be a believer. You know what I'm saying? But right now. But one of the good things about talking this shit. Like. This what you supposed to do. Like. Keep barking up the. You know. Tree. And he going to get what he want. This what you supposed to do. Is you coming up. You're supposed to keep barking. Keep barking. You know. But Jerron Ennis. Like. He he said. He ain't no bark. <laughs> he got a lot of bite with that shit. So. I want to see. You know what I'm saying? I want to see eventually. I, I'm me being realistic. I know this shit ain't gonna happen like next or uh, or after next. That shit ain't gonna happen 2022, and it might happen 2023. You know, me just being lit, realistic, like and knowing and watching the patterns of this boxing shit, and just being around. Like, I know this shit ain't gonna happen. You know, I'm not gonna fucking play dumb, but. This is you never know. Boxing is unpredictable, so you know it can be some spectacular shit happen, and he might fight Crawford next year. I mean, who the fuck knows? You know what I'm saying? The end of next year, some shit like that. But right now, I don't think it's gonna happen next year. But let's talk about if Jerron Ennis can actually do that. What he's saying to Terrence Crawford, I believe this. Let me say this too. I believe that out of out of all the top guys, I'ma name three. Out of out of uh out of Earl, Crawford, Porter, I'll name a couple more. Danny and Sean. 
which I don't think Danny going to fight him. And I do, do think he can beat Danny for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? I, I just believe Jerron Ennis can beat Danny. I think he the best in Philly right now. Him and Stephen Fulton. But I think, you know, Keith Thurman too. I think he can beat Keith Thurman too, especially with all the shit Keith Thurman did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he got a good shot at beating Keith Thurman. But <clears throat> I think one of the easiest guys he would have time with. I mean, I won't say easy. No, let me fix my fucking word. I ain't going to say easy, but I think like his best shot is with Crawford. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people that actually think Jerron. It's, it's a group of people who actually think Jerron Ennis can beat Terrence Crawford. But I don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. I'm not going to say it if I can't really stand on it. I don't know because, for one, I haven't seen Terrence Crawford fight a top guy, right? And I ain't seen Jerron any fight top guy either. So I really just be, like, guessing type of shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Or just picking some, whoever I fuck with the most. So I ain't going to do that. Why? Uh, I think Jerron Ennis do got some advantages over Terrence Crawford. One is that fucking size. You know what I'm saying? I believe Earl Spence would be his hardest fight because Earl Spence is the same size as him with the skill and fundamentals and all that type of shit. And I do believe fundamentals be athleticism. You know, not saying that Jerron Ennis ain't got no fun, fundamental, but Earl Spence's game is based around fundamental. That's it. That is his game, bro, period. You know what I'm saying? But... So, Terrence Crawford is, is is basically made. I I mean, Terrence Crawford is, is basically similar to Jerron Ennis. You know what I'm saying? Like he kind of similar to him. You know, they switch stances and shit like that, and and they fight more based on like athleticism and boxing skills, and you know, little traps and shit. Like you know, they, they you you can see a little bit in Jerron Ennis or what Terrence Crawford do. It's basically what I'm trying to say. You can kind of like, you know, out of all the guys trying to compare Jerron Ennis to one of them, yeah, either be Terrence Crawford or Keith Thurman. Other than that, I can't really compare him to Sean or Earl. You know what I'm saying? Or Danny. You know what I'm saying? But if he, what I'm trying to say is, if if Jerron Ennis is a bigger. Is he bigger and stronger than Terrence Crawford? That's a lot. I don't know if that beats him, but that that is a huge advantage, though. You know what I'm saying? Being, like, way bigger than that dude like that. Even though Terrence Crawford didn't beat other big guys, but I don't think no fucking uh, Jose Benavidez or motherfucking Green Beans is no Jerron Ennis. You know what I'm saying? Or, uh... Kev Brook or none of them guys. I don't think they fucking with Jerron Ennis. I, I'm just saying. The Kev Brook did Terrence Crawford fault. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they fucking with Jerron Ennis. You know what I'm saying? So, time gonna be gonna tell, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't say it now. I can't really stamp it. You know what I'm saying? I can say it, but it, I'll be bullshit. I can't really stamp it. You know what I'm saying? That Jerron Ennis can beat. Terrence Crawford, that everything he can do, he can believe, uh, I mean, he can do better type shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't really stamp it right now until I see. I, I'm going to revisit this topic after Sean Porter versus Terrence Crawford, right? If Terrence Crawford come in this bitch, right, whoop Sean Porter ass, knock his ass out, I'm going to say, fuck no, Jerron Ennis can't whoop. If Terrence Crawford struggles or 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 get get his ass beat by Sean, yeah, I already know what I'm gonna say. Maybe Jerron Ennis can whoop his ass. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that Sean Porter is some kind of gauge or something. I'm just saying like it just I gotta see they fight first to see how it look. I gotta see some. You know what I'm saying? I gotta see because Sean Porter is a dog, and I believe Sean can give Jerron Ennis a hell of a fight too. You know what I'm saying? One of the problems why, I, one of the reasons I can't, another reason, I mean, I can't really say Jerron Ennis going to beat, I mean, can beat Terrence Crawford right now is because a couple of fights I've seen from Jerron Ennis, like, it seemed like he didn't pace himself correctly. 
to the point where he came out. I'm not saying that he wouldn't fight Terrence Crawford in a different fashion or whatever, but I'm just saying what I've seen so far. Like, he came out like guns blazing. You know what I'm saying? And that's fine to Danny and uh, for the guys you fight and whatever and wanting to put on, you know, a hell of a show and, you know, get paid for overtime and all that type of shit or whatever. But with somebody elite with, with a lot of skill like Crawford, you know what I'm saying? Somebody with... On, on on Crawford level, you can't really, you can't run run out of gas or not pace yourself right and shit like that, or you, you know, or he gonna beat you, he gonna he gonna get you in, you know, the later late end of the fight, it's gonna look like some Hank Lund, Lundy type shit. You seen what happened with Hank Lundy, right? And, and Crawford at one forty, see, Lundy was whooping was he was tagging Crawford, whooping his ass, right? But then you see him start fading at a certain point because he he gave out so much, you know what I'm saying? He started fading. Terrence Crawford had all the energy in the world still, and he was able to stop Lundy. So I compare it to that fight because, you know, you can be beating Crawford, but if you 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 pull out everything you got, you know what I'm saying, and, and your shit start fading. And your energy level started dipping. Crawford peaked that type of shit. And he, he going to, you know, he going to show out the second half of the fight. Because it don't matter how you, you know, come out in the beginning of the fight. It's about how you finish that shit. You got to, you got to, like, pace yourself. That's one thing I seen from Jerron Ennis, you know what I'm saying? Which comes with inexperience, you know. With him fighting at the, but if Cro- but if Jerron Ennis keep getting better and shit, you know about twenty six, you know he turned twenty six. I think he like twenty three, twenty four, something like that. He turned like twenty six, twenty seven. He might be a fucking monster. There ain't nobody fucking around and be able to stop that nigga. You never know. Time will tell. That's why I got. I'm saying I gotta see. I gotta see Jerron Ennis in there with. Tougher competition before I can say some shit like that. Crawford too. Don't get me wrong. Crawford ain't fought nobody either. But at least I seen the nigga fight somebody like Gamboa and Lundy's and and, and them guys that one forty green beans and you know they might not be nobody made it, but but it's better than what Jerron Ennis done fought so far. Not knocking Jerron Ennis because I ain't got no respect for him. He coming up. And he a dog, and I see what he doing, and I want him to do his shit. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see, man. I said that all to say, man. Uh, we'll see, man. I fuck with Jerron Ennis. I got to see how this Sean Porter versus Terrence Crawford fight turned out. And now I'll revisit this topic because this ain't Jerron Ennis' first time saying this shit. He been, he been, about him and Earl, he been saying he want to fight the best. You know what I'm saying? He got a humble team. You know, he humbled himself. He got a real fucking coach. His daddy. He remind me of fucking Calvin Ford, Javante Davis coach. You know, he from Philly and and, and, and Tank from Baltimore. Them niggas like cousins and shit, uh, you know, uh, up there. So he kind of remind me of Calvin Ford. He just give me the vibe of a real fucking coach. And that, you know, and not just a nigga daddy. Who who want to keep the money in house and shit like that? You know, no no pun intended, no shade, <laughs> no shade. But it is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you ain't subscribed already, and I'm out, y'all. Deuces.